The Bord Valenkin Guth, is that how you say it? I think it's Bord A. Valenkin Guth. Bord A. Valenkin Guth Singularity Theorem, BVG, shows a necessarily past finite universe for any universe which is on average expanding and which assumes, quote, that gravity need not be described by Einstein's equations. So if Einstein's gravity requires some modification, this conclusion will still hold, end of quote. This quote from uh, Borde, Vilenkin, and Guth in the Physical Review Letters uh, in 2003. Uh, wouldn't this indicate that all quantum gravity models are subject to BVG and thus must be past finite? C. Craig and Sinclair's classification of quantum gravity models on pages 158 to 59 and following of the Blackwell Companion to Natural Theology, 2009. This question from Dennis Jensen, Aurora, Colorado. No, I, I mean, I think he's hit the, hit the nail on the head. This is the central, uh, or, or one, the central issue of, uh, it, it, in my opinion, in multiverse research and how it impacts the, the cosmological argument or the argument from a beginning is that um, when you look at Big Bang cosmology, you know, we talk about the Big Bang cosmology and the space-time theorems of general relativity is these theorems rely on the validity of general relativity all the way back to the beginning, uh, or t equals zero, and yet that's the exact place where we expect them to fail or be superseded by some more general theory. And so, uh, you know, there's a weakness in that sense in arguing for a beginning using the space-time theorems of general relativity. But, I, you know, in, in doing multiverse research, uh, you know, Borde, Vilenkin, and Guth are all involved in cosmology and inflationary cosmology and how to, how, to, how to do all this. And what they've demonstrated is that independent of the validity of general relativity, as long as you have a, a universe that on average is, expands – then it's subject to this BVG theorem, which says that the past is not complete. Or in other words, as you travel backwards in time, you will come to a boundary or a singularity or a beginning. So I find this to be a, you know, the, this is a place where the multiverse research has actually made the argument, the, colo the cosmological argument, far more robust because there are, there are fewer ways to get around the idea that there's a beginning and there's less weaknesses to the argument. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, and these these theorems are wonderful in that they are having they're so general, right? That they uh, that they don't make very many assumptions. Uh, there's some just some very basic assumptions about what is going on in these early models for the universe, and on the ground of those uh, on those very limited number of assumptions, you come to the conclusion. Here, in this case, the assumption is that there is some. Uh, average expansion, and therefore it implies there must have been a beginning. It can't be an infinitely uh, go in, in, into the past. I don't. What do they right. call that? Past infinite, past as opposed inc well, or past incomplete. Past incomplete Complete means the there's term. a boundary to it. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I think these are very powerful statements that uh, that our universe must have had a beginning. And where this comes into play, and of course, again, Jeff, uh, his little booklet there is giving the explanation for a lot of this stuff. Mm -hmm. But where it comes into play is that even if the Big Bang itself, the Big Bang of our universe, uh, is not the very beginning of our universe, uh, there still had to be a beginning at some earlier stage. And it's on that ground that we would say that the the initiator uh, of, of this beginning had to be a, an agent transcendent to this bigger universe or this earlier universe that led to what we call the Big Bang and the beginning of our own universe. And that, uh, that agent is the God of the Bible in our view. Right. Okay, great. All right, boy, technical question there. Thank you, Dennis. And uh, Jeff, we can point people to, again to the booklet, Who's Afraid of the Multiverse? Uh, 